Well, breaking news coming in from Bangalore. The block education officer in Bangalore has been suspended following the rape of a three-year-old at uh, a school in the city. The block education officer VC Basavaraj has been suspended by the primary and secondary education department. Department officials took a step as parents questioned why a blind eye was turned towards the school despite knowing that it had not obtained the requisite permission. Basavaraj had been suspended for dereliction of duty. Departmental inquiry has been initiated against him. My colleague Pratibha Raman is joining me for more on this story. Uh, Pratibha, the block education officer has been suspended. Uh, take us through the latest. Well, mainly because uh, yesterday, the entire day, the parents have been uh, protesting right outside the school. The main demand is that despite knowing that uh, the school hadn't uh, obtained the uh, requisite permission, how is it that the government is turning a blind eye towards this? So that has uh, caused the government to act uh, seriously and take up a uh, take up serious action against the block education officer because right when the uh, when such a similar incident happened in uh, june uh, most of the government officials had ordered the, all the uh, block education officers to go around every school in their jurisdiction and report to them about uh, any kind of issue that might crop up and uh, the department has noticed that this particular block education officer hasn't really done his duty which is why a departmental inquiry has been initiated and uh, right. some, uh, and he has been suspended. Also, Pratibha, what happens to the fate of the school? Because it was revealed that uh, the school was in fact running classes illegally. Also, the affiliation of the school to the central board of secondary education was still impending. It hadn't really happened. What now happens to the fate of uh, the school and the 900 students studying there? Well, there are really uh, three different aspects to this. One is uh, the question of uh, security, uh, mainly because an incident like this has happened of uh, sexual atrocity. And two is about uh, the officials, especially uh, some time back when uh, uh, the RTE Act had come into place and the 25 students uh, were uh, put into this particular school. And at that time, the officials would perhaps right. have known very well that this was uh, uh, they did not have the uh, right license. And number three is about uh, the remaining students because the authorized classes are only from first to fifth. Now there's an important meeting that is going to be held which is going to be crucial and that is held on the 29th where the education minister will sit with all the education department officials right. and the way forward will be discussed uh, to uh, find out what the fate of the other students would well, be. Well till the way and forward the is in fact discussed and a conclusion is in fact reached. Uh, the fate of 900 students at this point in time really hangs in balance. Thanks Pratipa for joining us with that update.